film has so many funny moments. What's your funniest memories from making the film? The bedroom, you know, where we're getting him ready. Yeah. I just I couldn't stop laughing. I was just laughing the whole way through. <laughs> yeah, they let us improvise this whole thing about him uh, getting me ready for the night out. <coughs> my balls just dropped. Just welcome to adulthood. Thanks. And Michael was dressing me up, and then that whole thing about you look like a beacon and stuff like that, that's all just Michael just having fun. That was a good laugh. We had a good time there. And mine is just, it's just, yeah, pissing about with him in terms of funny moments was just the best. How much do you get to improvise lines like that? I spent five years writing a script and then he came in and went, bollocks. <laughs> Me and Ben, we've made some short films that were all improvised and we got Michael Soccer in. We knew he had a good background in improvisation and then we knew we wanted to make those characters' f friendship feel really real. And so we just thought that would a good, be a good way of creating that rapport. I was laughing the whole way through. <laughs> Every single scene I was laughing. A lot of the time we would make each other laugh and it's in the film because I like, we just liked having that. Because your, fr your friends make you laugh. And the one thing that really annoys me in a lot of comedy is that people don't laugh. So you get all these comedies where people are cracking these amazing jokes and then their friends just go, and then it's on to the next thing. Whereas I, I like seeing people making each other laugh on camera, it's really infectious. The chat up scene in the bar is so good. What was that like to film? That was actually tricky. That was the one, that was one of the scenes where there was no improv. It was all, care, that was carefully written down. And that was one of the only scenes that's made it from the first draft to the last. And so it was actually quite uh, tricky to shoot. There was a lot going on. You've got Michael in that side texting. You've got me with the girls looking down. There's a lot, it's quite a technical scene. So it wasn't actually that fun to shoot. But what's really fun is now watching it with crowds and it's getting this huge reaction. So this is the fun part of watching that scene. Now, at the time, I was like, this isn't going to work. This is something out of a dodgy sitcom. This is just going to be crap. But um, no, I think we pulled it off. So obviously, this is about a date that goes horrifically wrong. What are some of your own worst date experiences in real life? Do you do much dating? No. No. <laughs> I've never really done it. I tried Tinder. Did you do that? I tried it recently, and I hated it. And I, I went on Tinder and I just swiped right at anything that looked human. <laughs> I was just going, yeah, that's alive, that's alive. <laughs> and then uh, waited for like three days and then got one response and it was this woman and she said, we had a match. I think she was like Russian or something. I went, oh, cool, uh, do you want to meet up? And she went, yes, it's 50 pounds for the blowjob. It was, she was a prostitute. Right. So I, I spent three days on there, I had one match, which was a Russian prostitute and then deleted Tinder. I'm not brilliant with women at all. I'm, I'm f shit. I don't know what to do. 